Welcome back to Attitude Meta. Like and subscribe and share with your friends. Welcome back to the show. Today, we look at the Entered Apprentice degree preparations and what candidates need to know before knocking on the door. Before we dive into the topic of the day, we want to answer a question from a patron member. This question comes from Gil, whose petition has been accepted and is now waiting for his degree night. He says, I am patiently waiting for that date pinned on the calendar to just arrive so that I can walk the walk that all the greatest men in all ages have been encouragers of. Same has been questions that most have, like Gil, that sent us this question. Most think to themselves, what can I do to get ready for my entered apprentice degree? They really want to know what information they need to know before the degree night. What preparations they need to do before, during, and after they get their degree. Well, I hate to disappoint you if you were worried that you had to get a whole bunch of studying done before you got your degree. But you have already done the hard part. The hard part was you deciding to become a better man and going through, in most cases, difficulties in finding a Freemason to ask. As the mantra goes, to be one, one must ask one. It means that you must ask a Mason to become a Mason. For the most part, Masons will not ask you and will never pressure you to become a Mason. The fraternity is only for those who choose it with their own free will. You then filled out a petition and interviewed with members from the lodge, and the lodge accepted your petition. At this point, there really is nothing more for you to do than wait. However, I think perhaps this is a good time to reiterate a couple of things so that we can make sure that you understand what kind of fraternity you are getting involved with. So if somehow it has escaped you up till this point, you need to understand that the majority of the morality lessons that are going to be taught to you are based on scripture. In the United States, scripture is the Holy Bible and more specifically, the King James Version of the Holy Bible. The lessons that is being taught is based on mainly around a man called Hiram Abeth. So perhaps that is the thing for you to know about or the thing for you to understand before you get your initiation. Is that a lot of the lessons that are going to be taught to you are taught to you based on biblical stories. Things that we read and learn in the Bible that we then apply a different type of learning to, where instead of trying to teach you what is taught in church, where you are more concerned about your immortal soul and your life hereafter, what we are concerned about is teaching you morality, morality lessons for your life here on earth. And in this way is why in Freemasonry we constantly say that Freemasonry is not a replacement for the church. We are not here to teach you salvation. That is something you need to go to church to be taught and to understand and to study. We are here to teach you how you can become a better person here on earth for yourself and for everybody that you interact with. But we still teach those lessons based off of the stories and his stories that we find inside of the Holy Bible. Now, depending on where you live, the holy book that is used in your area might not be the Holy Bible. So depending on your faith, it might be interesting for you to ask the Lord, what scripture will be on the altar before you go further? Ask your Lord, what scripture, what holy book, what book of the word is on the altar? And this should have no problem telling you or even showing you what, what is on their altar. We constantly let people who have yet to be initiated into our lodge to show them that the room is not threatening, to show them the Bible, 
to let them open it and flip through it so that they can see that it is the same scripture they have grown up with their entire life. So the next question that is a part of this is, well, I don't consider myself to be of a certain denomination, but I do believe in God. Can I still be a Freemason? Yes, you can. But you need to understand that our lessons are derived from the scriptures, from the Christian religion, and hopefully that is something that you can understand is still applicable to you, whether or not you attend church on a regular basis or even profess yourself to be a Christian. You can still be a Freemason. So it is just incumbent on you to have the same open heart that Freemasons do that you can confess a belief in deity and be able to sit in a room together and discuss things with one another openly and in friendship. So I hope that gives you some information about what to expect as you go forward and are preparing yourself for your initiation. Just remember that you asked to become a mason because you felt that the men that were involved in masonry were people that you could trust. You already had inherent trust of at least one, if not a group of men, or you wouldn't have filled out that petition. The one thing I can absolutely assure you is that those men will be no different after your degree. The only thing is that you will feel a tighter connection to them, a more family-like connection to them because you are now a part of the same fraternity. Well, I hope that gives you some information that you were looking for. And good luck at your initiation. We would see you next time. Welcome back to Attitude Meta. Like and subscribe and share with your friends.